everyone, welcome to Sunday Stupids. So over the years, many fads have come and gone. Since marbles, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, silly bands, Rubik's Cubes, Beanie Babies, Lava Lamps, and more recently, the Goose Down Jackets. But, the most recent of all, it's called Planking. Planking is an Australian fad, and it was started by a rugby player by the name of David Williams. Here's a video of David Williams' historic plank. There are some high-profile plankers. I'm not sure about the post-match celebration. There is obviously a message here. Ever since then, planking has grown across the nation and has even spread to North America. Some famous plankers have done planks that look like this. Now obviously this isn't the smartest idea, because many people have ended up in the hospital because of these planks, by falling off of such structures like this. Now if you think this is cool, check out my next video. This man decides to propose to his wife by making a commercial that is played before a feature film. Watch and see what happens. Love story so true, it couldn't have been written. I know how much she means to you. I know how much you love her. I know she is your heart. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. She is my heart, my friend, my everything. I'd like to have your blessing, sir. May I have your daughter's hand in marriage? You have my permission for a hand in marriage. I would love to have you as a son-in-law. What are you waiting for? Virginia Lee Joyner, since our second day, I've always said that we were going to be making the movies jealous. You mean everything to me, and I meant that. Will you give me the honor, and will you marry me? Bravo. So the man posted this video on YouTube and got millions of views. So it's pretty long for a viral video, just a bit over six minutes but it is a genius plan. So this week, I didn't get very many suggestions of items that I could put up on my wall. So, I found a little piece of an agenda. December 6th it is. I'm not quite sure what it means, but, but hey, I've got nothing else. But I've got to decide where to put it up on my wall. Of course, it could go next to uh, that Sharks No Swimming sign, but I think it's more accurate next to the forever alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Sunday Stupids. Don't forget to rate up, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, at one mil push up. And as I just mentioned, don't forget to leave suggestions for stuff to put up on my wall. Now for something a little extra. Something that I think would be a little cool to add to this show. Stuff in slow motion.